guys, it's Asa Crafter. Okay, today I want to try to make a gazebo. I'm sorry, somebody requested a long, long time ago and I haven't done it yet until today. Oh, I'm sorry. And um, I don't remember that person name. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I will, I'm not sure I, will, I can make it, but I will try, okay? And... I don't think I will be able to finish before Cody got home. I did got out of work. <sighs> Have been a lot of busy day for me. Anyway, um, okay. As I said, I'm going to try to make a gazebo. Okay, and what you need? I print this out from a uh, heptagons shape. This one I choose the one have this shaped it inside. I will tell you why it's that. It did help me to guide up this one to cut this shape. This one I just light this one up and cut the shape for the roof. You you will know what I mean. I would you know at first we need to cut this one up. Um I don't know which side that you want you uh cursy both side that you want you know, you want the, the bigger side, the smallest, uh, the medium side, or smaller ones. I want um, this side, the 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 larger one here. So I gonna trim this one off. Okay, from now on, I will try to write all the requests. Request that you lady, you know, request for me, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot about this long, long time. Like, okay, you know, uh, sorry. So, I don't know this how long it will take to make it. I have no idea. Look like a long, long video for me again. So ladies, be patient with me. So now you want to cut this. You use this one template to thread to cut on your cardboard. I'm going to find the cardboard. So this one I'm going to thread. Um, maybe I will use this one instead. Okay, I'm going to put this one here and thread so I can cut it. So you will need uh, three pieces of these. You know, sometimes guy when you requested something, I'm a little bit confused. Like, uh, you want me to make like um, 3D look or just for um, for you on your scrapbook layout, something like that. Maybe I was confused on this one. I don't know. No excuses. I'm sorry. <laughs> a thousand times sorry. <laughs> So I get the hectagon shape and now we want to cut it off. Follow follow the line there. You know what guys? All my project I I haven't made it yet. This is my first time trying, so gonna be some mistake here. So you guys can learn from me, or if you figure out a way 
to do easier than mine, you're welcome to do and to try and tell me which way you like the better, okay? You, you don't like my way doing it, you know, it, it, you should help me and I help you, you know, we can help each other. Not just me, you know, doing it and figure out that sometimes need more people helping, you know, the better. To figure it well, out, you know, the bit we can make easier than my way, something like that. get this shape and you cut two more and I already cut two more see I have this okay and now you want to cut um, build a base thicker um, before that I want to I want to um, cut all the the corner here to insert a pole, so dancing pole. <laughs> so you need the, you can use any stick that you want. This one, the wooden stick that I got from, I'm not sure from Michael or hardware store, maybe Home Depot, Lowe's. I'm not sure one of those things. Anyway, um. We're going to cut into, I don't know how tall you want your um, gazebo. We will need, how many is it? I believe it's seven poles, right? Yep, seven poles. So you can make dancing poles seven poles. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, what's wrong with me? I'm kicking out too much today. <laughs> I try not to be you know, boring for you guys when you guys watch my video, you know, like not sounding so boring, not talking, not making any joke, you know, I try to make fun for you guys who watch my video so you not go anywhere, just stick around with me. <laughs> okay, um I believe I need I'm not sure this one will hold in I don't think I have enough this stick if I cut like um I will be right back if I have more of this stick because I don't think I have this. I have only one. I don't think that enough for seven pole. Okay, guys. I don't have enough this stick. I have another one. I don't know where Cody playing with it. You know, he like to play with the stick, and now I have only one stick. It's not enough for to make seven poles. So I'm gonna use my pencils here substitute. So I have a pencil here, just I bought at Michael's, um, a dollar a long long time ago, I never do anything about it. So I'm going to use this one for my dancing pole here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure I, that I'm going to wrap around the pattern paper or I'm going to use it plain like that. Maybe I should wrap around with the uh, designer paper. Let's see what paper that I have here. Oh, this one is pretty. I'm going to use this one. this one I, I'm gonna use this one to wrap around here So I 
think I need to turn it off first. How long is it this one? Seven and a half. So maybe it's one and a quarter let me find my trimmer Um, I'm going to use the tacky, the sticky tape here to um, wrap around these pencils here, and I will speed video up so you guys don't have to watch me doing this. After I wrap around the pattern paper on my stick here, so we now we're going to punch the whole all the corner here. Only at the base on the top, the bottom you don't have to. So I'm going to um, let's see. can cut the hole like that, you guys can see it. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're gonna cover with pattern paper or the nylon trim. So like uh, my uh, four, a four poster bed, the same thing, you can cover it.
now for view the updates here um i cut this piece at one and three and three quarter for the base here around this I'm going to adhere this on the bottom first. So I'm not sure all oh, they're gonna be um one and three three quarter, I'm not sure. Okay, it is yet I just pre-cut this so I just save my time. So you know it's um handmade, it's not gonna be perfect, you know. So I'm going to um I'm going to adhere this one here on the top here. I'm gonna build this one around all the corners here. Okay, I I don't know what trim I'm gonna use to cover up here. Nine my nine old trim. Um, I think I'm gonna paint in pink first. Even though if I use uh not in pink, I should get two color like the bottom is, you know, uh pink and if I use white trim, it's show white and pink. So I think that's so good. I don't know yet, but I wanna paint in pink first. I want to do white or pink because you know what guys, it's a wedding theme so what what I'm trying to do here so like um, well it depends on what kind of the wedding the bride have they like, some of them they like what purple or something purple white or something I don't know. Or oh, blue. So this one is pink. Okay, I can see this. I think there's too much pink. I don't know. So that'd be interesting if I use white trim, narrow trim. See that one. This one actually I use more drop than one uh, a lot before uh, what I try to say sorry I'm confusing you ladies this is pinker than the one I painted with uh, my uh, a full poster bed though see this one really pink I'm not sure my camera pick it up but really pink 